Hi, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty. Welcome. If you're new here, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my steals, deals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. So this week, uh, this week coming up, I said the next probably five, seven days, um, is going to be about yarn reorganization. This is my one of my major projects for the summer. Um, a lot of items on the shelf have not been touched in, geez, I don't know, probably since last summer. It's time to do the yarn deep clean. Uh, also, time to find a spot to put all that Hobby Lobby yarn I got snagged on clearance. I know you guys are having the same problem too. Um, so we're going to talk this week about tips, tricks, um, how to organize. Uh, I'm going to give you a full yarn room tour at the end. This is me emptying the shelf so we can get a clean start, or a clean slate, I should say, and I'm just piling stuff up on the couch here. The new Hobby Lobby yarn is in the other room. I posted a video about that yesterday, um, showing off my haul. I will link that down below, and as I post more of these yarnscaping videos, I will post them down in the description box as well. Um... This is definitely something I look forward to because you always need to deep clean once in a while, right? I'm also going to be doing some pattern organization tips um, <clears throat> and lots of other fun stuff around yarnscaping this week. When's the last time you gave your craft room a deep clean, shall we say? Hmm. Let me know down below in the comments. All that. Mm. Look at all the yarn. It's in a huge pile. <laughs> Remember when I first got these shelves, I was like, these are huge. Now I'm like, these are small. Yeah. This is the fiasco of all the yarn that I got off the shelf. Please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can be affordably crafty too. Have a creative day. Bye.